Hello, everyone, and welcome to this week's Real Estate Real Talk Friday. I am your host, David Hiddle with United Real Estate Louisville. And this week, we are talking about why you should not hold out for perfection when you are purchasing a home. So maybe you are searching for that perfect home. And you should know that no house is ever going to be truly perfect. There's always going to be something you'd like to change. So it is time to consider the potential instead of holding out for perfection. A house that needs a little elbow grease could be a hidden gem. And with an open mind and an expert guide, I can help you find the right home for you. So bank rate, uh, the, the service had uh, this to say about looking for perfection. Quote, one of the most common first time home buyer mistakes is looking for a home that checks each of your boxes. Looking for perfection can narrow your choices and lead you to pass over good, suitable options for starter homes in the hopes that something better will come along. So if you are one of those millions of Americans out there that are looking for your next home, please do not look for and look only for perfection because you may overlook some of the better, some of the other options that are out there for you. Also, I want to talk about how uh, we are not experiencing a real estate crash. Um, maybe you are seeing headlines about foreclosures rising. And if so, I would tell you not to worry because that's only compared to years when foreclosures were at a record low. We are still below what we'd see in a more normal year. And if you compare today to what happened during the real estate crash of 2008, we are nowhere near what we saw back then. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to discuss how we are not about to experience a real estate crash. Then maybe you're thinking of selling your home. You cannot just pick any price under the sun and put a for sale sign in the yard and expect it to sell. With moderating demand and a growing number of homes for sale, your asking price matters today more than ever. Buyers also have more options and they are not going to look at a home that is overpriced. If you want to price your house so that it stands out and avoids a price cut later, you can do so with my local market expertise. We will find and develop for you the right price. Here are two reasons why your asking price matters more today. Again, buyer demand is moderating due to the higher mortgage rates and the supply of homes for sale is growing. So if you are thinking about selling a home, pricing it correctly is the first and most important thing that you can do in order to make sure that you get your home sold and for top dollar. Top dollar may not be the dollar amount that you're imagining, but top dollar based on today's housing market. Maybe you are ready to retire, and if so, oh my goodness, I, I, I feel, uh, I, I hope to goodness someday I get to retire. Downsizing your home could simplify your life. You may go from a lot of maintenance on your current home to less maintenance, from a higher mortgage payment or higher taxes to better financial savings, a lower mortgage, lower taxes. There are many perks to opting for a smaller home when the need arises. Plus, the equity that you have in your current home can help make that happen. 
If you are thinking about taking your next steps towards retirement and towards downsizing into a smaller home, let's chat and explore your options. Again, some reasons to downsize, financial savings, less maintenance, a simpler lifestyle, and maybe health concerns are a driving factor for you. So if you are looking to downsize, buy or sell a home, get with David Hiddle with United Real Estate Louisville so we can get you started in the right direction. Are you wondering if the upcoming election will have any impact on the housing market? Well, here's what history tells us you need to know if you are considering a move. Data shows that home sales slow in November, but quickly bounce back and rise the following year. Prices usually keep climbing, and mortgage rates typically come down slightly. Presidential elections have only a small and temporary impact on the housing market, so if you have any questions, let's connect today. Everyone, I want to thank you for tuning in to this week's Real Real Estate uh, Friday Talk. I'll get the title of this thing down eventually. Um, Real Estate Real Talk Friday. There we go. We'll figure this out. Um, and so if you have any questions or concerns or you are looking to buy or sell a home, please reach out. My information will be in the description of this video. And I hope to hear from you soon so we can get you started towards your real estate goals.